Welcome back to another ukulele fingerstyle arrangement. Today we're looking at the song, This Guy's In Love With You. This is a beautiful song and it has wonderful chord progressions. I really enjoyed creating this arrangement and I'm excited to share it with you. First I'll play through the entire song and then we'll move into a tutorial. tutorial where I'll give you lots of helpful tips on how to play the more difficult parts of this melody. This arrangement is for low G tuning and you'll find the tabs on screen during this lesson. You can also download them as a PDF from the link down in the video description. Now let's get started. The first tip that I have for you is that a squiggly arrow next to a chord indicates an arpeggio. 
This is meant to be played as a broken chord, so rather than a down strum, we're going to play this slowly so that each string rings out. Our first arpeggio happens at the end of measure three on our A minor chord. Here we're playing strings four, three, and two. And because the second string is the highest note, that's the melody note that we should play the loudest. In measure four, we have our first hammer-on. We're going to play the open fourth string and hammer-on with our middle finger onto the second fret. If you're not yet comfortable with hammer-ons, then you can simply pick both notes. For measures nine, 10, and 11, we're alternating between playing arpeggios and individual melody notes. We're starting on an E7 sus4 chord. Here, for the fingering, I'm placing my middle and ring fingers on the second fret of strings three and four. Then we're picking the open second string, and this fingering puts me in a nice position to move to our E7 chord. Here we have an additional melody note on the second string. So our typical E7 fingering is this, index finger on the first fret of the fourth string, and middle and ring fingers on the second fret of strings one and three. However, in this case, we're only playing the melody through the second string, and our melody note is that second fret. At the end of measure nine, we're moving to the fourth fret of the second string, then in measure 10, we have our A minor seven chord, so all open strings. Then we're playing the third fret of the first string. And then an arpeggio through all four strings. In measure 11, we're moving to a G minor seven chord. I'm playing this chord with my index finger across strings one and two on the first fret and then my middle finger on the second fret of the third string. Then we'll place our pinky down to pick the third fret of the first string, and then we'll play an arpeggio through all four strings. Here's how it looks to play measures nine through 11 at a nice slow tempo. tip is on measure 21. Here we have our short riff that starts on the third fret of the first string. You can start on your ring finger or your middle finger, whichever you prefer. So we'll play the third fret, the second fret, then the open first string. Then we're going to place both our index and ring fingers down on the first and third frets of the second string. We'll play the third fret, the first fret, the open string, and then we'll play the second fret of the third string. Moving into measure 22, we have an arpeggio on strings four, three, and two on our C major seven chord. Here's how it looks to play this short riff at a slow tempo moving from measure 21 into measure 22. The final tip that I have for you is on measure 27. Here we're playing notes on a G chord, followed by G major seven, and then we move into G seven in measure 28. The easiest fingering to use here as we start measure 27 is to have our index, middle, and ring fingers on the second fret of strings three, two, and one. G major seven can also be played as a bar chord. However, it's easier to use this fingering to transition from G major seven to G seven. 
We're going to start measure 27 by playing strings 4 and 3 together. Then we'll play strings 2 and 3 together. Then strings 1, 2, and 3. Back to 2 and 3. And then in measure 28, we're moving to an arpeggio across all four strings on G7. Here's how it looks to put all of these notes together. I hope you've enjoyed learning my arrangement of This Guy's In Love With You. Have fun practicing, and thank you for watching.